Today, we're going to talk about breakfast. What is said to be the most important meal of the day? Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Pasquale and I'm a nutrition and lifestyle coach. Here on this channel, I provide you with lifestyle changes, tips, healthy recipes and also nutritional tips like this one. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and click the bell to get new updates. I also remind you that I have a Facebook and an Instagram pages where I publish uh, photos of my meals and dishes so you can also see the way I eat myself too. I also remind you I have a, a website www.healthmefood.com where also you can find the list of my services. So, first of all, nutrition is quite important throughout the day. It's not only breakfast that is important, but also lunch, dinner, and uh, the two snacks throughout the day. Um, so, all of these meals should be well balanced and healthy. But is it said that breakfast is the most important meal of the day for a reason? In the morning, when I wake up, I look like a spring, I just jump out of the bed. And it's not because I have my dog with his bottom on my face, but it's for other reasons. It is also because I try to keep myself healthy and eat healthy food. And everything starts with the breakfast. So a healthy breakfast should always contain the three macronutrients and micronutrients as well. So good vitamins and minerals and carbs, proteins and fats but good quality ones. You don't have to think at your breakfast like something which is has, has to be packed with sugar and unhealthy fats like uh, cookies or cakes or muffins, but it should be also as much as natural as possible. If you're planning to lose or gain weight also I suggest you to um, consult with your dietitian or nutritionist first or even have a talk with your local GP which also who also can give you good tips and advices. What I usually do for the breakfast and what I'm suggesting you to do is very simple. Uh, if you saw my previous video you also um, saw that I always advise to prepare some uh, juice, homemade juice, vegetable juice in the morning and I, I know this may sound a bit you know cheeky because we all used to have uh, fruit juices and not vegetable juices uh, because we probably um, consider that sweeter. But I can assure you that uh, vegetables squeezed are very nice to taste and uh, they are very delicate, it is not a strong flavor. For example, when I prepare my own juice in the morning with the juicer, I add celery, carrot, uh, some tomatoes, beetroot, a little thumb of ginger and I add a piece of fruit and sometimes it can be an apple or it can be a squeeze um, orange or grapefruit. In this way, even if you're taking a juice without fiber, you won't have a spike in your insulin level because vegetables don't have sugar at all and you can get your fiber throughout the day with other meals. But you won't imagine the amount of vitamins and minerals you're gonna get from this juice. It's gonna give you the same effect of a multivitamin but in a much easier way and more natural way. Plus, when you leave home, you can leave all your dirty dishes to your wife or your girlfriend so she has to wash it and you are free to go. Of course, if you are living on your own, good luck. I also suggest you not to eat the same breakfast every morning um, because at the end of the day, even if it's healthy, you can get sick of it eating the same thing over and over again. Just try to focus on three or four different breakfasts. In this way you are going to still continue to eat healthy but you won't get sick about the same thing every day. I'm just going to give you here three ideas but you can do whatever you want as long as it's healthy. The other thing I always suggest is to have at least, if you saw my video before you saw, you saw it, is to have at least 18-19 grams of protein per day because they give you a sense of fulfillment for a longer period of time so you're gonna get to the next meal full and without any sugar or food cravings. So these are my three advices and I hope you like it. For example, the first breakfast can be a full fat yogurt unsweetened and don't worry about the fat because there is not that much in a pot of yogurt. 
with some um, mixed nuts and seeds and a piece of fruit. In this way, you're gonna get the carbs from the fruit and also a small amount from the natural sugar present in the yogurt, the protein from the yogurt, and a good amount of, of fats, of good sources of fats from the mixed nuts and seeds. It's important they are not uh, roasted and not salted, of course. A second idea, maybe a scrambled egg, uh, which is the so your source of protein, a piece of bread, whole meal, possibly homemade, and uh, you can follow the same recipe you, uh, I used for the focaccia in my previous video. It's the same one I used for my bread. And then you can add like uh, a vegetable, like a tomato, and you're gonna add the source of fat even from the egg and from a bit of extra virgin olive oil or some avocado. The third breakfast I wish to advise you is to prepare your own pancakes, not the pre-packed one or those mix you add just milk. Just prepare it yourself. It's really, easy, it's really easy and it's fast. And you can spread on top of it a couple of spoons of almond uh, butter or peanut butter and then you can accompany it with the, with the juice you prepared before. Try to avoid every pre-packed meal like muffins or scones or cookies because they are filled with uh, hydrogenated fats and sugar and it's not what you want to have um, for a healthy breakfast. I just want to apologize for this video because um, I usually record the video on a Sunday and then publish, you know, work it throughout the week and then publish on Wednesday. But this week I had, uh, so last week I had um, a sum of family problem <clears throat> and I only recorded it on Tuesday evening and then I published on Wednesday, which is, you can imagine, is only a small time. But I promise the next one is gonna be better. I just want also to inform you that for the next video I'm trying to plan a series that is based on vegetables. So for what I will do is we'll, I will take a vegetable, a different vegetable every time and I will explain you the property, pros and cons and I will also give you some tips on how to cook it in a healthy way so we don't transform healthy food in junk food. Hope you enjoyed the video and again I'm sorry for the quality I know it seems everything made in a rush, but next time I promise I'm gonna be a good boy. I just remind you to visit my Instagram and Facebook page, to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get new updates and thumb up if you like the video. Please, if you have any uh, suggestion or question about the, the way I shoot the video and the way I'm talking to you, just leave it in the comment section below because it's really useful for me to improve the quality of the content I'm gonna bring to yourself and it helped me to grow the channel. Well, I'm only left to say, eat well, live well and smile, and see you next week. Bye.